So, how does it feel? To be home after all this time. I have no hometown. I wouldn't know. Hmm? Uh, what does that mean? What about family? My mother's name is Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father... <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Okay, my guy's just dropping bombshells left and right. Your mom actually is Genova? Sephiroth's mother's name is... Genova? The alien? Hmm? Wait, has Genova come up in Crisis Core yet? The actual name Genova, I don't remember. <laughs> but it's an alien thingy, right? Are you... Are you really an alien? Okay? Phoenix Materia. Okay, cool. Oh, I haven't done... I haven't done too much of this stuff. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks. This... This thingy in the middle there. That was a thing that Cloud and Tifa were sitting on when they were younger and just... Talking and all that, right? You'll get in trouble for snooping around. You'll get in trouble for snooping... I'm not snooping. This is... We're here on a mission. Watch duty's just so boring. <laughs> Squats? You want to practice as usual? You want to practice? Practice? Oh, you mean posing. Soldier always has to be mindful of their public image, right? How was it? Like this? <coughs> You're getting good. You know, I don't really want to join Soldier. You know, I don't really want to join Soldier. Isn't it the ultimate honor for a Shinra employee? You don't want to be a soldier? Hey, they're actually making him put on his helmet again. <laughs> Would be too weird without it. You guys came to investigate this town, right? There's a lot of strange things you can find in this town. We like to call them the town's seven wonders. Are you guys interested at all? Okay. If you're interested, look into it. Are they actually wonders or are they hoaxes? The first wonder is, lately, the town's drinking water has sometimes been coming out red. Could it be blood? That's scary. Ooh, scary. That can't be right. Can it? If you learn the truth about this wonder, please tell me. Oh, even you don't know. You want me to go investigate. We could climb up and... Is it that well? Is that a well? Are you one of the soldier people? Hmm? <gasps> Tifa! Tifa! Yeah, Zack of soldier. First class, mind you. Hmm. Hmm, what? Are there a lot of you? Uh, first classes? We're a select few. Only two of you this time? Yeah, me and Sephiroth. Uh-huh. Uh. Well. What do you want? <laughs> Spit it out! Tifa! That was odd. Yeah, that was odd even by normal anime weeb dialogue standards. I wasn't expecting to see Tifa at all! Coming into this, we knew that Aerith would be a part of it because Zack and Aerith, but... Yay! We get to see Tifa too! But she might be gone already. Hmm. Her... her cowgirl-esque outfit. Oh, There's god. There's red materia here. Did the color seep out of it? Hmm. Huh. Is that even possible? What? Color seeping out of a rock into the water? Okay. Is a materia a rock? Oh, Phoenix materia! Oh! Fantastic. Thanks. Hey, Cloud, your, uh, your friend, Tifa, did you see? You'll get in trouble for snooping around. Did you not see? Do you care? You're not allowed to care because you're on duty right now. Huh? A materia in the water supply? 
Aw, that's not very exciting. Oh, well... But listen. This next wonder has to be real. I'm getting goosebumps all over just thinking about it. Before I tell you... Mm. Have you seen the painting of the girl on the second floor of the inn? Not yet. Well, can you go take a look? Second floor of the inn. Hanging on the wall opposite the bed. The inn? The inn- the general store. Nibelheim general store? Which one's the inn? Oh no. Wait, is the inn the one that Sephiroth is standing in front of? Well, I don't want to go talk to him. Outskirts. Are we leaving? We can take a look, I guess. Does this look inish? Activating combat mode. Not particularly, I would say. Needle kiss. Call what a beautiful yourself. name. There's a fork in the mountain trail, and one path leads to a dead end where a strange bomb appears. A strange bomb? There's a fork in the mountain. Okay. I'm not seeing an in here, though. What does Nibelheim do for a living? Can I just keep going around? Is that okay? Really? Mount Nibel. Oh, there's a mountain called- <gasps> Whoa! That's Mako! A Mako reactor here means that there's nothing else here. That's right. There's a Mako reactor. Well, this is probably going a little bit too far, right? I'm guessing. I'm just looking for the inn. Where's the inn? Oh. Not quite the inn. Maybe that really was the inn. Oh, is that the inn? No, that's a, that's a mansion. Reporter. Hot on the trail of the missing pod! I had received word of recent activity in Medeoheim. The area was once a candidate for Mako excavation, but now it's nothing but a deserted village. This reporter actually found a piece of equipment, a pod to be exact, used in the experiments. When I revisited the facility at a later date for a more thorough investigation, the equipment was gone! A full-scale effort to follow the pod's trail revealed that it made a stop at Nibelheim before it was carried to another location. A pod? It came here, and now it's not here? Okay. Whoa! Cisne! When you come back... Are you in Nibelheim about now? I've got business in another freezing locale myself. By the way, I couldn't help but notice that you were reading Loveless while you were in Costa del Sol. That was Genesis' favorite work, wasn't it? So, have you finished it yet? I bet you got bored of it in the middle and just tossed it away. But there's a stage production of Loveless now playing in Midgar. Let's go see it when you get back. Who knows? It might just give you the hint you're looking for. Is that a date? Oh. Well, you, you can go on a date with your friend. <laughs> Insider information. We received the following information from a member of our word of mouth network. Zack's favorite swimsuit has embroidered sunflowers. Isn't that perfect for someone as sunny as Zack? He was spotted in Costa del Sol on a break. It was then, on the day of the simultaneous attacks, that he was seen fighting foes on the beach with a parasol. Isn't that wild? With all this vitality, you might expect Zack to be a flirtatious player when it comes to romance, but apparently, he's actually very sweet and naive. Thanks to Black Suit for the info. Song! Song! He's been selling my information to people. Out of the way. Clearly. Oh, this one we gotta... It's too far away. Oh god, the bomb guy. Oh, no, no, it's gonna explode! Oh, yeah. oh lord. Shinra Manor. I don't think that's the inn. I don't think that's the inn. <laughs> Where is the inn? Clearly there's a lot going on here, though. It's gotta be around here somewhere. It might be... Should I just try talking to him?
We depart for the reactor at dawn. Retire early today. We only need one on watch. Get some rest, men. Ah, oh, that's right. Go visit friends and family, if you wish. He actually seems kind of nice here. Nibelheim. Huh. Why is your helmet still on? It's personal. What a weirdo. Oh. He doesn't want to be recognized by his friends and family. They don't know? Do they not know he's a Shinra trooper? That's why he didn't say anything about Tifa. <laughs> what are you doing here? I heard that the hero Sephiroth was coming, so I've been waiting here all day with my camera. I want to take a picture of Sephiroth fighting a monster. That'll fetch a pretty sum. Oh, he can take a picture of me. I have no interest in taking pictures of minor figures. Wow. I heard that the hero I want to stay inside. I'm going to miss the decisive moment. I can't do anything about you. This is the inn. I see. Pretty sure we couldn't have gone in before talking to Sephiroth though. Cloud. Dude, I just saw you outside. What the heck? I wanted to tell you. We've been on a few missions together, and there's something I've been meaning to tell you. I was thinking about telling you once we were in my hometown, but it's a little embarrassing, so I'm gonna write it out and send it to you. The day you changed your hair, when you wished us rookies good luck before our sortie. I'll never forget your words. Remembering what you said that day gives me the courage to stay strong. So, thanks, Zack. The day you changed your hair, you even remember that? That's a little bit creepy, but... You look up to me, so okay, you know, <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. Good day, sir. Welcome. I expected, like, by the end of Remake, because we saw those scenes about when Aerith and Cloud were walking in one direction and then Zack came from the other direction, I was expecting that Zack and Cloud would both be first-class soldiers all buddy-buddy, but as it stands right now, there's actually a pretty clear hierarchical difference. Zack is a first-class, Cloud is a rookie, and he looks up to Zack. That's a little bit different than what I expected. Good day, sir. Did we pay for this? I hope Sephiroth paid. Because I'm not paying. Where's your damn painting? Ooh. It's a sad painting. And also kind of eerie. Flowers. That's not a common thing around here. It's a sad paint. Well, I'm not sure if I would call the girl cute. Well, cute's not the first thing I would say about her. That's not to say she's not cute. It's just that that's not <laughs> the impression I get from the painting. Did you see it? It's cute, but also kind of eerie, don't you think? So the second wonder is, that girl sometimes leaves the painting and wanders around in our world. What? Ooh, scary. Oh, way too scary. Any progress yet on the wonder? So the second wonder is, that girl... Ooh. Oh, what do you want me to do about it? You just told me about it. Do we have to catch the girl in action? Or what? Sorry, Sephiroth, I'm a little bit busy right now. Oh! Huh? It's true. The girl vanished. Huh? What do it's we do? Should we go find her somehow? <laughs> By the way, this inn, one big room like this. Are we gonna be sleeping next to Sephiroth? Oh. Maybe we can pull off some of his hair strands and sell it to the fan club for some money. She's gone! Any progress? So this- that girl? Ooh. Okay! What do I do with this information? Watch duty's just so boring. I'll come and talk to you now and then, so be patient. <laughs> Getting nervous. Why? You never know when monsters will appear, right? 
I'm getting a little nervous too, because the background music has been kind of eerie too. It's not like a cheery returning home. Hey, long time no see, friends and family. It's a something horrible is gonna happen in three seconds kind of background music. Nervous. I'm excited. Oh, that's right. Don't miss your chance to be a hero. What do I do about the girl, man? Is she... is she here? Is she around? Not as far as I can see. She's back! This girl... I wonder why she's sad. This girl... Can we find out why? Sorry, Sephiroth, I'm just... Oh, what the... What the heck? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I am busted. You've discovered my secret. <laughs> this is very embarrassing, but... I keep a nest egg that my wife doesn't know about. I hide it behind the painting and such. All right, so you keep a nest egg. But that doesn't explain the girl vanishing from the picture. Oh, that. Well, you see, this painting is actually two-sided. One side has the girl sitting in it. The other side does not. When you get to my age, it gets harder to remember things. Sometimes I have money saved up, sometimes I don't, and I always forget. When the girl's there, there's Gil. When she's not, there's no Gil. Pretty easy to remember, right? So, it's kind of like a personal memo for me. But you're drawing attention to the wall in the first place, which you probably don't want to do. I hope you'll do me a favor and not tell my wife about my secret. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. Wow. Nest egg's gone. <laughs> There's no gill now. Yeah, these so-called wonders, it's more like we don't know how it happened, but it's not a it's not a spooky thing. Nest egg. Uh, what's that? You'll find out when you're older. Well, I don't understand the grown-up world. In any case, it wasn't a wonder at all, is what you're saying, right? But how about this next one? Hey, mister, do you want to keep doing this? Not really, but I'll do it. <laughs> okay, next wonder. The third wonder is a little dangerous. Mount Nebel is home to a lot of dangerous monsters, but the most dangerous ones are the bombs. Mm hmm. And so, rumor has it, one of the bombs is different from the others. It's a bomb, but it doesn't have a bomb face. It just has a different look. Weird, right? So this is where you come in, Mr. Soldier. I need you to go find solid proof that this strange bomb exists. They say there's an item that only it drops. Go and get it so I can see. And that's the third wonder. That sounds a lot like you're just trying to get me to do your... Do your bidding and all that. But I'll bite? You mean Mount Nebel as in where all the Mako stuff was just now? Okay. Is it okay? I'm just sort of exploring Mount Nebel by myself. Even though Sephiroth said, hey, go sleep early. Well, it's still daytime right now. Activating combat mode. Needle kiss. Conflict oh, yeah. resolved. Gotta oh, whoa, whoa! That's a lot of Mako. It's like a mineral resource, kind of. In some places in the world, there's just a bigger concentration of it. I made it all the way here without running into a single monster, but now I have to go home. So maybe I'll tell you the rumor about the Wonder Bomb. Yes. If you can stop all of them from exploding, they say you get something very nice. That's it? I mean it all of some- 
then if even one explodes, <laughs> you end up getting nothing. I told her I didn't want to know anything. I came all this way to find the Wonder Bomb, but I'm done. But still, I got some valuable info. What you do is hit the ones that are about to explode. Okay. I came, but if you go right here, that's where the Wonder Bomb shows up. To the left is the reactor. My dad's always telling me that I can't come here without a grown-up. But we're talking about one of the seven wonders I had to come here. It's just kids here. The Wonder Bomb will keep growing bigger, but when you hit it, it gets a bit smaller. It sounds like you guys know all about it already. My dad's all but Yeah, you're right. Too dangerous. Too scary. On the right, huh? We'll take a look. Wow, this place is so Mako rich. It's weird. I feel like this is my first time seeing it out in the wild. We've always heard about it in the context of powering some reactor. Activating combat mode. Now this is out in the wild. Conflict oh, resolved. Yeah. If the Wonder Bomb is that weak, we should be able to do this no problem. Activating combat mode. Oh boy. Okay, they're not that weak. Touchy bomb. Remedy bomb. Oh no! Oh no! Shoot, shoot! Oh Conflict yeah! Resolved. Oh no, it exploded. Is that okay? I ran out of MP. I can't get... <sighs> they need to make it so that I can I can use ether. Not in the menu screen. Oh, but I messed up though. Did I... Ran out of MP right at the very end. Do I have to reload and do it again, or how does that work? Activating combat mode. Out of the way. Oh, they're back. I didn't have to reload. I just have to come here again. Come on. Mind and body acting together as one. Ha! And Jill. Hey. So, what, do you, what do you think? Pretty good, right? You're focusing just for the sake of it. Your true power hasn't been released. Yeah, it didn't feel quite the same as before. You need to learn to find the right zone in your mind. If you can't do that, you won't make first. Seriously? Thank you, Angeal. I won't forgive your teachings. There you go. Resolved. Gold shard obtained. Okay, cool. Just had to come back to the area again. That's all. So it was an actual bomb Activating then. Combat mode. Ah, there's so much stuff here. We gotta be careful oh, oh, about yeah. using Firaga because it heals the bombs. I came all the but. No. If you go right here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Time Activating to go back. Combat mode. Bring it on. Why are there so many bombs here? Is oh, it related yeah, to the resolved. Mako? They're attracted to the um, Mako energy. I feel like a lot of creatures should be if it's so strong and potent and all that. Oh wow! It's the gold shard. So it does exist. So I guess this wonder was real. Here's my thanks. Safety bit. Then, maybe the fourth wonder is real too. There's a rumor about a laughing safe. Yeah, scary, right? Okay. Do you know Shinra Manor? It's a really old mansion, way in the back of town. My friends and I call it the Haunted Mansion. So, they say there's a safe inside this mansion, and every night, you can hear eerie laughter coming out of it. But get this, no one knows the code to open the safe, so we can't check what's inside. So the fourth wonder is the laughing safe. You have to figure out the code, open the safe, and find out who or what is laughing in there. Good thing we know where the manor is just from looking around. What are you doing now? 
I heard that the hero Sephiroth was coming. Oh. I want to take a pic. Feel free. <laughs> Do whatever you want. The manor. Everybody lives in this quaint little village, and yet there's a gigantic manor here. Lord of Nibelheim, so to say. Ooh! The theme song! It's the song that plays in the main menu. Except it's kind of off tune? The door won't open. Look through the keyhole. Oh, it's just three chairs. Okay. Totally not creepy at all. Oh, goodness. Do I have to, like, remember the number of chairs and stuff I'm seeing, or what? Oh, it could be the number on the safe. Three chairs. Uh, what's this guy called again? Scary face or something? There's five. There's one on the edge there. Yeah, five. And then... I'm trying to think with, like, weird logic, okay? It makes sense, right? Doesn't it? Okay, you can only look through two doors. More? And then what? Like how many- Oh, I can zoom in and zoom out! How many- Books on the ground? How many books not in the shelf? Maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six? Something like that? I've already forgotten all the other numbers! Ooh. Well, the safe isn't here. But there was a strange... There was a strange thing here. That circular part. Maybe that's the secret. Where even is the safe to begin with? Creepy manor. Locked closets. It's just abandoned. The safe in question. Knowledge overflowing. Books. Unwelcome faces. The creepy face. Tasty reminders of home. Resting on all four feet. Ah, I was right. I was right. Yes. I need one more. Tasty something, did it say? Oh, like a dumb apple? Oh, yeah, there's so many here. One, two, three... Do those count? Well, there's four that are just sitting in plain view, and then the two cans. So either four or six, I suppose. Oh, there's one more here! Seven, then. Because they made it a point to put it in such a weird location. So seven? I guess? Okay, give it a go. Uh, how many- <laughs> How many books were there again? I completely forgot. Like six or something? Six books? Oh, no, 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 no. Six books, five faces, seven apples, three chairs. No. Uh-oh. Did you see that just now? Oh, there's one more there. Are you kidding me? That's so tricky. So six guys here then. One, two, three, four, five. And then one more at the very edge. 
No, I know you're there. No? One, two, three, four. Five. Did you move spots? It seems like it moved. Oh, there's four chairs. One, two, three, four at the edge. Okay. It was six books, six faces, seven apples, and four chairs. Oh! A pet? <clears throat> Vital Slash. No, it's fine. That's fine. Thank you. That was a little bit tricky because some of the stuff was on the very edge of the keyhole. For the faces one? I mean, in the end, I still couldn't see six at the same time. I just noticed that last time. Yeah, you can see this one on the edge here. But then... On this edge? Oh, now it's more visible. It is six. Okay. Sure, whatever. So it was just a cactar? Bummer. Is that how you say that? Cactar? Okay, I thought it was a like cactuar. <laughs> that, that guy was stuck in the safe for so long, I kind of feel bad for it. I guess it got trapped in there somehow? Seems more like somebody tried to trap it on purpose. Maybe it wasn't laughing, but was actually trying to call out for help. So if that's the case, maybe what we did was a good thing? Hopefully. Now for the really good stuff, the fifth wonder. This one is a really spooky story. It's a mystery buried deep in the earth. Did you know there are caverns beneath Shinra Manor? No. They say you can hear these blood-curdling groans coming from there. But you have to use these secret stairs from the mansion's second floor to get down there. They say a soldier guy named Sephiroth has the key. That's the fifth wonder. Go check it out. Hey, Sephiroth! Do you mind giving me the key? It's a Shinra Manor, not a Nibelheim Manor. Shinra? What are you looking at? This landscape. I could swear I've seen it before. Deja vu? Tifa! Tifa! You're our guide? At your service. Okay, here we go. Wait, did we learn her name earlier? Uh, <laughs> when they talk about the best guide in town, they're talking about me. It's too dangerous. There's no way I can let you get involved in this. She'll be just fine if you protect her. Stay back. It's just unconscious. Or do you actually want to get eaten? Use brings wear, tear, and rust. That's why I use the blunt side. Of your sword? I want to go too, please. This is a top secret facility. Non Shinra personnel are not permitted. Mm, but. Keep the young lady safe. You will. <sighs> He's too afraid to even speak. He's <sighs> avoiding talking on purpose. Why? Wait. It's a Genova just now. Yeah. Genova. Interesting. The door is sealed, of course. Genova. Sephiroth? Are we here for a reason? This 
This is the cause of the malfunction. This section is broken. Zack, go seal the valve. Why did it break? Is he just pretending he didn't see that? that whoa you average soldier members are mako infused humans you're enhanced but you're still human but then what are those things their mako energy levels are exponentially higher than yours are they monsters is sephiroth actually an alien he just said, you humans, like he's not human. Yes. The Shinra scientist Hojo was the one who created them. Abomination spawned by Mako energy. That's what monsters are. You said average member. What about you? <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Hey, Sephiroth! Uh. Could, could it be that I was created the same way? What? You don't know? Am I the same as these monsters? Is that not something that you would know about? These capsules, Genova at the very top. Yeah, I'm not getting the impression that Sephiroth was born to a normal family under normal circumstances, but to what degree? Are you actually an alien? Or are you also a test tube baby, but in a different way from Genesis and Angeal? He didn't give me the key yet. I knew ever since I was a child. I was not like the others. I knew mine was a special existence. But this, this was not what I meant. Am I a human being? No such luck. You are a monster. Oh no. But well, Sephiroth himself doesn't know. That's a little surprising. Sephiroth, you were the greatest monster created by the Genova Project. Genesis! So you are alive. I suppose I am if you can call this living. What is the Genova Project? The Genova Project was the term used for all experiments relating to the use of Genova's cells. My mother's cells? Poor little Sephiroth. You've never actually met your mother. You've only been told her name, no? I don't know what images you've conjured up in your head, but... Genesis! No! Genova was excavated from a 2,000-year-old rock layer. She's a monster. <laughs> Sephiroth, I need your help. My body is continuing to degrade. Soldier first class, Sephiroth. <laughs> Genova Project G gave birth to Angeal and monsters like myself. Genova Project S. S? Sephiroth. Used the remains of countless failed experiments to create a perfect monster. 
What do you want of me? Your traits cannot be copied onto others. Your genes can't be diffused. Therefore, your body cannot degrade. You're perfect. Share your cells with me. My friend, your desire is the bringer of life, the gift of the goddess. Oh, Sephiroth himself is the gift of the goddess. The perfect monster. Whether your words are lies created to deceive me or the truth that I have sought all my life, it makes no difference. You will rot. Good. I see. Perfect monster indeed. When the War of the Beasts brings about the world's end, the goddess descends from the sky. Wings of light and dark spread afar. She guides us to bliss. Her gift everlasting. No! Uh, stop! Back in one of the earlier missions, didn't they mention that Sephiroth wasn't eligible to donate cells to Genesis? Or something like that? What is going on outside? Genesis Damn. copies, yet again. Activating combat mode. Hmm. Oh god. I think. Sephiroth himself being sort of a weird alien test tube baby is not that hugely surprising. He's just such a kind of a weird figure all this time. But he himself not knowing about it. Well, we don't know too much about him overall. So I guess we wouldn't even know if he knew about it or not. That makes sense. But he seemed legitimately shocked by it. And that almost made me feel a little bit bad for him. But what incentive would Sephiroth have to help Genesis anyway? Because they're friends? Well, I suppose that's a good enough reason. But he doesn't want to help. Which is good, because I don't like Genesis. I don't think anybody should help him. Oh yeah! Conflict resolved. Uh, Cloud? He tried... to protect me. I know. Tifa, stay close to me. We never even got the key from Sephiroth yet. Wow, Tifa. Activating combat mode. Oh my god. Get out of here. Oh yeah. Resolved. Tifa? Cloud? Oh god, okay. Oh, hey! Activating combat mode. I'll protect you, don't worry. But now what? Now what? Why did Shinra just leave Genova labeled gigantically in this reactor and send Sephiroth directly to it? Did someone want him to see this? Genesis? How did Genesis even find out about all this? Hollander? Lazard? Activating combat mode. I might be the only normal person around here. Everyone's a test tube baby. Which Oh yeah. I'm not entirely convinced combat I'm 100% normal just because first class soldier seems to come with a lot of baggage. You don't get to become a first class unless if you're special in some way. And for a lot of the people we know, being special comes in the form of having been genetically tested on. Activating combat mode. 
Okay, I don't think I actually have to care about Cloud and Tifa. I just walk by myself. Activating combat mode. Oh, come on, dudes. Ow. Oh yeah. Two level ups combat in a row. Resolved. Thank you. Kids, go home. It's dangerous here. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. Really dangerous. They keep running away! They keep running! How about you blow up? Just blow up, blow up. Blow up! Or forever hold your peace! Heads up! That's enough! Oh my goodness. Conflict resolved. Well. Oh yeah! It's the MP. I gotta, I gotta take MP in the middle of a battle. Let's go, let's go. Activating combat mode. Shove off! Oh Conflict yeah! Resolved. But Tifa still hasn't seen Cloud yet. I'm sure she'll find out soon enough. We... Oh, you want to go the other way? Okay. Activating combat mode. Thank you. Enough! Oh, yeah. We gotta clear the way for them. Sephiroth, where did you go? <sighs> what happened? Uh, sorry, I can't say. I thought so. <sighs> I'll ask the townspeople about Sephiroth. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Tifa. Alright, right, Cloud? Hey, who started the Genova project then? Shinra? How does Sephiroth feel now? Does he want to defect? <sighs> Tifa's safe. Don't worry. If only I were soldier. Zack? Soldier is like a den of monsters. Don't go inside. What happened? I don't know, man. I thought I knew, but... Ah! Shoes on the bed. By the way, do you know Tifa? Sort of. <laughs> Talk to her? No. I'm sensing some issues here. Shouldn't you do something? Why is he avoiding her? I'm one to talk. I'm with soldiers, so fighting's all I do. Sorting things out is someone else's job. What's going on? Who's the enemy? It makes no difference to me! <sighs> hey, Zack. I really like that sword. It's impressive. Use brings about wear, tear, and rust. 
And that's a real waste. You're a little more important than my sword. But just a little. <laughs> Embrace your dreams and whatever happens, protect your soldier honor. This is a symbol of my dreams and honor. No, it's more. That's right, I had almost forgotten. Thank you, Cloud. Huh? Right! Back to training. I'm gonna crash. Night. Soldier honor really that important though, compared to stuff like protecting the ones you love and all that. 